Hi, welcome to Sanford Sports Weekly. I'm Kayla Schaefer, your host for today's inside look at what's happening here in Bulldog Country. We're going to start this week's show off with women's golf, who earned the championship title at the Low Country Intercollegiate on Monday. Sanford cruised to the championship of the team event over Southern Conference rival and defending champion Western Carolina. Already this season, in head coach Rachel Ingram's first year at the helm, Cleveland has earned four top five finishes and eight top ten placements. The Bulldogs will next be in action on April 4th through 6th as they travel to Oxford, Mississippi for the Rebel Intercollegiate to be held at the University of Mississippi Golf Club. For more information, check out SanfordSports.com. Well, the number 71 ranked women's tennis team is off to its best start in school history. Stanford extended its winning streak to 10 consecutive victories Tuesday as the Bulldogs took down the UCF Knights in a non-conference contest held at the UCF Tennis Complex in Orlando. The Bulldogs have dominated singles play this season and have outscored their opposition by a count of 60 to 15. The women's tennis team will next be in action Saturday at 11 a.m. as the Bulldogs continue their spring break road trip against the Furman Lady Paladins in a SOCON contest to be held in Greenville, South Carolina. The men's tennis team is on a two-match win streak as they defeated Davidson and the Citadel this past week. The dogs play both Furman and Walford at home this weekend. To follow both tennis teams with match previews, recaps, and more, visit SanfordSports.com. Two more single-season records fell this past week as the Bulldogs softball team swept the Lady Jaguars of Southern University 9-0 and 19-2 on Tuesday. Sanford Blue passed the school single season RBI record of 185 in Game 1 and broke the single season run record of 209 in Game 2. Both records were set in 2008. The team now sits with 217 runs scored and 209 RBIs on the season. The Bulldogs play at home this weekend and face Appalachian State at Sanford Field on Saturday at 1 and 3 p.m. and Sunday at 1. If you can't make it out to the games, James Hardy will have a call live on Sanford Sports TV. Last week, Sanford Baseball started their conference schedule off in a dominating fashion as they won the series against the Citadel. And then a come-from-behind 7-6 win over non-conference Jacksonville State on Tuesday, beating the Gamecocks for the second time this season. Junior pitcher Alex Ledford got the 5-3 win in the first game of the series against the Citadel, pitching eight innings, allowing three runs and four hits. Sanford dropped game two, four to two, with Ty Sullivan leading the team in hitting, going two for five with a home run and an RBI. In game three, Sanford starting pitcher Alex Malazzo pitched five innings, allowing three runs on four hits to earn the win in the mound for the Bulldogs. Sophomore Parker Curry drove in the game-winning run and earned the win on the mound in Tuesday night's seven to six win at Jacksonville State. Curry single to left field with two outs in the top of the ninth inning to drive in Heath Quinn to put Sanford up 7-6. Andres Gracia got the final three outs to earn his seventh save of the season. This weekend, the Bulldogs open a three-game home Southern Conference series with Furman. Note the change in Friday's opener now set for 3 p.m., then Saturday at 2 p.m. and Sunday at 1 p.m. Mike Grace will have the call on Sanford's own 91.1 WBSU and you can watch all of the action live on Sanford Sports TV. For more information on schedules, tickets, and news, just visit the official online home for your Bulldogs at SanfordSports.com. Until next time, I'm Kayla Schaefer for Sanford Sports Weekly saying Go Dogs!